Today, I'm back with another mega movie review for you all. Today, I'm talking Big George Foreman. I'm going to give you all the good, the bad, and my recommendation if this movie is worth your time. So let's get into it. Now to start with the good of the movie, and first we got to talk about this cast here because they give some powerful performances. First up, we got Chris Davis as George Foreman, who does a wonderful job playing all the different decades of George Foreman. It reminded me very similar to Malcolm X, where Denzel Washington played Malcolm X at different parts of his life. Same thing with Chris Davis and George Foreman here. Also, we got Forrest Whitaker playing the coach of George Foreman, who does a great, powerful, emotional performance. And then we got Sullivan Jones playing Muhammad Ali, and we get more of that character in this movie than I expected, but he just does a great job with all his mannerisms, how he moves, how he talks, how he boxes. It's just so captivating, so everybody does a great job in this movie, and I just love how the story is told here. It's a historical biopic on the main highlights of George Foreman's life, but we start in his upbringing, which is done really well, and then of course you got his awesome prime days as a really great boxer, looking like a superman out there, just so powerful, and then you see his religious experiences and that phase of his life, but then amazing, you get to see his comeback as big George Foreman in his 40s, Winning the heavyweight championship at 45, I mean, oh my goodness, this is a story that needs to be told. They even throw in, you know, the big George Foreman grill deals and all of that great stuff. So it covers a lot of George Foreman's life. So when it comes to a historical biopic, it just gives you a lot of great information, but it tells you a lot of it in a very entertaining way. This movie has a ton of boxing matches in here. If you love boxing, you get a lot of that in this movie, and it makes the fights thrilling and just unique enough to keep you very interested in them. So I was pretty thrilled with this movie, especially when the boxing was going on, and this movie just has a really slick production and costume design. Now to get into the bad of the movie, and this is going to be quick here because there isn't any serious major negative. I will just kind of give a nitpick, and that is the runtime. For about 2 hours and 20 minutes, this movie would have done even more entertainment wise if it could have been a Chris 2 hours. I think that would have been the sweet spot. I do think they could have shaved off some time at the beginning with all the upbringing of George Foreman. It does take a while to get into the boxing. Now when we do get into the boxing, it is full on go, no stops, very thrilling, but it takes us a little bit of time to get there. You almost start checking your watch in the first 20 minutes, so maybe we could have cut that down and got that to a better running time, but other than that, once it gets going, it ends strong here, and yeah, just not many major negatives I can really point out with this one. Now to get into my recommendation of Big George Foreman and who should be going to see this movie. Well, if you love inspirational sports stories, this is the movie for you. Just to see the upbringing of George Foreman and then his comeback at 45 is absolutely all inspiring. So powerful. But not only that, if you really like boxing movies, I'm telling you, this boxing movie competes with the best ones out there. I prefer this movie over Creed 3. Yes, I'm a massive Rocky and Creed fan, but Creed 3 didn't have that much boxing. Big George Foreman gives you a ton of boxing matches just to savor over, and they're really entertaining and thrilling. And so if you love boxing, you gotta love this movie. But even if you don't love boxing, you just love inspiring stories, I think this movie hits all the right marks. Everything works perfectly in terms of this production. Not really many flaws. So I can highly recommend checking out Big George Foreman. Many people won't see this one, but I'm telling you, it's a good one and worth some attention. So let me know in the comments below, are you interested in seeing Big George Foreman and what are some of your favorite boxing movies of all time? Let's have those fun movie discussions down below. And if you enjoyed this movie review, check out another one right now.